This is still May 5th, 2023. They're still driving by yelling stuff. Even after everything in the world, they don't give up. They think they're fun and killing people down here. See, what part did they not understand English? They don't apparently understand or comprehend English at all. Not at all. You know, that's where they don't understand English. I know they don't. They can't. What part of they don't understand English? I know they don't. They almost you want to know if they need an interpreter. It is illegal for anybody to watch you alone in your home with tiny cameras and stalk you. Your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, anybody you're living with cannot hire a stalker to set up tiny cameras in the home that you're staying in and watch you. That is hiring a stalker. They cannot do that to you. Um, that is considered stalking. See, where Dave already had the four attempts of my life, the follow around, the attempt to break into knowing what the security system was, the attempt to kidnapping, and the attempt to carjacking, and I'm still not dead. So he comes up with the idea. He offers a guy money to stalk me and frame me in case I don't die since the bee won't die. And that retired judge kicking in my door, knowing the whole time, the whole time, it would never be admissible. It's a Fourth Amendment. See, they can run around and tell Riri's and little low IQ. They, you know, the, the people helping out in this call the people that follow me and make fun of me low IQ people. They call them low IQ people. They mock them for being stupid and helping out. They call them low IQ people. Back in 19. It's like they don't understand English or the words you're saying to them and they can't penetrate into their brains. They call them low IQ people. My husband at the time could not hire a stalker. You thought, you know, I was even watching this one show. This lady was walking around taking pictures of somebody and following them around. The police arrested him for stalking and menacing. You can't do that. You, The Department of Justice considers your home as your castle. It's not to be entered into. See, that's where the Portage County Sheriff's. What these people said they did is illegal. It was none of our officers in your home, Miss Hall, or anybody else's home outside a protected custody case. I said, oh, and with statements, yes. I said, you couldn't look or listen. It's the Fourth Amendment. Place and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of life with statements, yes. I said, or you could never look or listen, yes. So is their tapes admissible? Can they even show it to a cop or an agent? No, because what would they have to arrest them for? Stocking. And how credible is the stalking tape? It's not. You can't hire a stalker, and it basically a hitman, to kick in your door while you're out. Set up pint cameras in the shower, the bedroom, nudes, you, everywhere. Watch your wife stalking her. And then take videos of it. And then sell the videos. That's called sex trafficking videos. And to do it in the bathroom, all my grandkids and sons and daughter-in-laws use the bathroom. They obtained and dispensed kitty porn. Are they in jail? Oh, they need to be. Trying to get money out of people photoshopping shower scenes and date rape drugging somebody, there's a word for it. It's called sextortion. It's a federal crime. Do you know, I just looked it up on the internet, 10 officers went to jail for life for abuse and misconduct. You can't use your authority to abuse people. You go to jail, you can go to jail for life. Where I looked it up before, they can get up to 79 years. They can. 
So I want you to think about this. How not funny is this? A retired judge with no authority. His daughter is dating my husband. Kicks in my door. Starts stalking me. Dirty pervert. Taking videos of me in the shower. Me and Dave in bed. Huh? Watching my whole family use the bathroom and taping it. Sick pervert. And then just to mess with me, Photoshop shower scenes in his tapes. Thinking he's funny. Because his little princess be. Oh, and then start breaking in, roofing me. Beating me under drugs. I wake up with hand marks bigger than mine in the, on my arms. I'm like, did I squeeze myself? And they're bigger than mine. Big, giant bruises. Throwing up. Almost passing out in front of the neighbors. Didn't know what was wrong with me. My heart's racing, short of breath, vomiting, headache, sick. I got treated from the doctor for it. They didn't know what was wrong with me. Do you think that's funny doing that to the human being? The girlfriend's father. And then he starts raping me and get me infected. Now is that funny or is that demonic? Why aren't they in jail where they can run around yelling tape before, tape before? It's not admissible. You want the prime example how much they can control you with these drugs? They framed a man named Eric. About two years ago, they started having men show up. Steve and Eric taped you before. And I'm like, what tape before? Oh, they photo, and then they start saying, talking about the shower scene and where you had the bruises and you were vomiting. They were day rape drugging you. Steve raped you. That's what was going on. And they beat you under those drugs. That's where those bruises came from. I had giant mm -hmm. ones, orange, mm -hmm. lemon, grapefruit size bruises. That's not funny doing that to a human being that's covered in bruises, throwing up, vomiting, and infected. And not know what is happening. That's not funny doing that to a human being. And then videotaping. It's not funny. And it's federal prison for life. Where they run around while we did it. Well, would somebody please put their dumb butts in jail? They're highly dangerous. Nothing is admissible. That's where Officer Reinhardt and Louisville. I don't care what they say they got. I don't care what they say they did. We could never look or listen. It's illegal to tape somebody with tiny cameras in their homes. And we only, uh, even the FBI would go to jail. It's all protected like cases with statements only. The Department of Justice. Uh, they look at a man's home as their castle. It's not to be entered into. That's why they have to have a court order, protected custody case with statements of the knowledge of the threat of life. It's private property, or they could never look or listen, and those people go to jail. So where they think it's funny, it's federal prison. They can run around and tell these low IQ people, as they call them, that they did it, but they can't. Tell an officer or an agent because they'll arrest them. Because it was extremely illegal him hiring a stalker. This is how much they can control you under drugs. They kept leaving that Steve and Eric's name. They had to act like they were that Eric at Altman Hospital where they called them and bad mouthed me. It was retired Judge P. Where I went to this one doctor, they left Steve's name. It was retired Judge P. They were framing these men. And it was just him. That's how sick this is. They got him high and drugged that poor man. November 1822, Walmart 62, 2 to 6 p.m. by the hair salon. Eric comes in and confesses. All the tapes before were me and not her. It was my idea to come up with it. My idea to say it. My idea to do it. For all these people to turn on her and they actually fought for it. Full confession tape and audio in the entrance by the hair salon. 
They had them nailed. Or they were already looking. They had police departments looking for them. And they had nothing to do with it. April 15th or 16th of 23, dates found as legally tapped. From the protected custody case, he was the main subject. Where I had talked to my daughter-in-law and my granddaughter, uh, my grandson's uh, girlfriend uh, about that weird Eric. I hope they get him because I had the bruises I was throwing up. And she's like, this is creepy. I said, I know it is. I showed her a picture of the man standing in the woods. She said, like, Karen, this is really creepy. I said, I was throwing up and almost passing out. And they're claiming shower scenes in the other room and where I had the bruises and throwing up. I lost 70 pounds. Somebody was messing with me big time. And uh, she's like, Karen, this is creepy. I said, I know it is. I hope they catch him. Well, I go to, on the 16th, about 4.35, being an FBI informant, my whole life has been fucked for four and a half years. And that retired judge hacked into it and sold FBI information. They might have a problem with him. I go to leave Jen, uh, my daughter-in-law's mother's memorial. Gabe and Shay walk up to Danny and Jen and her brother. Gabe said, it's not funny what I heard what she said to Shay. Now this is funny. I looked up what she had wrote because I've been putting statements on Facebook because, like they said, everybody knows what's going on about her family. And uh, he said uh, she, they tried to blame us for one of this, and we didn't know anything about it. He said, I know I called Dad. He said, and Dad said he didn't know why that guy confessed. He didn't have anything to do with it. He had hired some guy named Pete on his own to tape her unaware in the home, and he was the only one up there doing it. I about died. Oh, Pete has it set up. She can't get any money. Pete has nothing admissible. And then he said, well, Dad said he's, there was an agent that showed up at that church, and he was asking her threats on her life. And Dad said he even talked to him. And he said he was the only agent from that agency looking into it. So when I called that agent the next day after I had, uh, for my God, I had an FBI agent in the off, uh, my office. He's right there. Dave talked to him. So why did that agent call me a liar? So where 10 officers on the Internet had went to jail for abuse and misconduct and for abusing their authority over people, that, does that agent not think that he won't go to jail for that? Hmm? See, the law is that... Department of Justice, 1729, they have to take a victim or a witness or informant statement if they believe it or not and follow through. They don't have a right to call you a liar. See, that's where some guy walked by my apartment a few days ago. I listened to that tape of her trying to tell that agent what was going on. He wouldn't listen to her. It was illegal what he did. He bought us off 5 to 20 years or more. He cost people their lives. People, They were using a drug cartel to hurt me. He had the biggest case in the world sitting on his desk. The drug traders out of this area were human trafficking people out of this area. And that retired judge was connected into it. Where I try to tell him about the guy that threatened to knife me. Him yelling at me about a camera above a bench wasn't my place to find the camera it was his like the Canton police detective just keep reporting it we'll keep pulling cameras and we'll get them because they'll make a mistake and say it under tape and audio in a storm will have them he said they always make mistakes see what I mean and Dave made the final big one he admitted he hired a stalker and he was the only one up there doing it to where they thought the churches took up money and hired stalkers. And it was the Stephen Eric. It was Dave hired Pete on his own. He can't hire a stalker. He can't have someone take me out of wearing it be admissible. They can't even look at it. It's like, what part of English do you not understand? Where even the Hartville police, and I was up there working, they went up there and tried to tell them they taped me before they called the cops on them. 
Do you know what the police up there said? No one had a right to tape her underwear before. Maslin Police is not admissible. State Patrol Officer, those people had no right. No. Mm -mm. Just like the Portage County Sheriff's, what part did they not understand? That way you don't have to worry about them bringing, they put two clips together, put her in a porn, it's not her, it's them. To, uh, we drugged her and told her to say stuff, just like the perfect example. They framed Eric, drugged him up, and told him to confess. That's how much they can control you with date rape drugs. You're sleepwalking. There's over 300 of them that they can mix different combinations, and you sleepwalk wide awake under somebody's control. It's highly illegal. These people are looking at life in federal. Where the hell did that agent go? I'd like to know. And for him bullying me on that phone, he cost people their lives. Th that man had already killed um, one of my co-workers, family member, and had people show up and laugh in her face. How they killed her and tied her up and cut her in pieces. He had tried to kidnap me in front of Terry, tried to carjack me, and then uh, he had threatened me at night, uh, to knife me in Giant Eagle. He went on to kill my house manager, Melissa's niece, and then a bunch of other people, and he's still in this area. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? Exactly. Made me beg for my life. Talk about abuse and misconduct. Made me and then listed me informant for life. 5000 a month for life for working this case. And they'll uh, always put it back as if it never happened, even when I tell someone. And um, I have the money to live on from now on. And then threat me if I told. What part of abuse and misconduct you go to jail? I already told him. Someone told on the church and Dave already knew. He wouldn't listen to me. Why wouldn't he listen to me? Then, my God, how'd they find out? Huh? Instead of you, liar. Why would you call me a liar? See, I told you I didn't even believe he was real. So what office he said he was in, I Googled it. Called the office when Dave was threatening Dixie and the baby's life, and they said they had a list. I found him there, and I told him my name, and I told him I was working with Agent Will, and I, Dave was out on the phone saying that, you know, Dixie and the baby would be next, and they had a list of people. She yells out, well, he's got a list. I'm working on it. He heard them. That means he hurt, heard me also in the car within the first 45 days screaming, God, don't let him shoot me. I didn't do anything wrong. God, help me, and screaming. And, there's a, and they're trying to run me off the road. He heard me plead for my life. He heard me and had a video of that van. He knew they were breaking in and date, date rape drugging me then because I was having injection marks. And that judge where the first two months they left bruises and hand marks and beating. After that, I just woke up with injection marks. Still throwing up, still sick. But I only had injection marks. Then I had those foggy dreams of where you wake up in a fog and a man walking across the room laying down next to me wrapping his arms around me feeling safe in his arms and feeling love and then the room going back every night that judge was coming over and raping me pull the case you'll find him especially in november and december Here he was doing it all summer long. They started telling everybody since the case started, uh, Karen has a rich boyfriend. I never had a boyfriend. It was a married woman. They said, uh, now he's claiming his will from the FBI, the retired judge. He's telling everybody, Karen's will thinks she's beautiful. That's Will's girlfriend. He's a older guy that uh, too shy to meet her, drives around, asks all the guys to make sure she's okay. And we all know Will says that Karen's his girlfriend, that he thinks is beautiful. Isn't that sweet, that old man's too shy to meet her? That was my rapist. That was my rapist. I was infected half the summer, or three-fourths of the summer, if not all. I had to go to the doctor several times and go on medication. I thought the well water was eating my skin.
Dave made love to me two or three times a night and a couple times a week. And here this man's coming over in between and raping me and got me infected. I'm lucky I didn't get an STD. I mean, seriously, people haven't broke it down. This man where he was beating and raping me for my ex-husband at the time, he fell in love with me. Told everybody I was his beautiful girlfriend. He told people, no man is to touch her. She belongs to Karen's will. We all know. He's not my will. He's my rapist. And he's a serial rapist. Do you realize if they do not arrest him, no matter where I move, I'll always have to block the doors. I won't be safe. I'll wake up with injection marks. He doesn't want to get to know me. He doesn't want to date me. He just wants a sex slave under drugs. And I'll wake up with Mars. His whole family is mentally sick and they're wrapped up in that drug cartel that's human trafficking people out of this area. I'm going to upload this.